In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Dubrovnik. At number 1, we have the Lokrum Island. Just a 10-minute ferry ride from Dubrovnik, Lokrum Island offers a quick escape from the city crowds. Covered in lush green pine forests, the island has walking trails leading to rocky coves with pristine waters. Don't be surprised if you come across families of peacocks, introduced to the island by a 19th century Austrian archduke. And if you get hungry, the old monastery on the island turns into a restaurant during the summer. At number two, we have the Dubrovnik Cathedral. This Baroque architectural marvel is a testament to Dubrovnik's rich history. Inside, you can admire the triptych of the Ascension of Mary by the Renaissance painter Titian. The cathedral also houses a treasury with precious liturgical items, including the gold-plated bones of St. Blaise. At number three, we have the city walls. Dubrovnik's iconic walls date back to the 600s, with their current form established in the 15th century. Walking along the battlements, you'll be treated to breathtaking panoramas of the city against the backdrop of the Adriatic Sea. And if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you might recognize several filming locations. At number four, we have the Old Town. Wandering through the winding streets of Dubrovnik's Old Town feels like stepping into a movie set. The main street, Plaka, is lined with grand old houses all sharing a similar floor plan due to a citywide decree after a 17th century earthquake. Don't miss the procession on St. Blaise's Day, celebrating Dubrovnik's patron saint. And now a word from our sponsors. When it comes to traveling, one major risk that many people overlook is cyber hacking. Public Wi-Fi networks in airports, hotels, and cafes can easily expose your data to hackers anywhere we roam. Even using mobile data makes you vulnerable to potential surveillance and intrusions. That's why protecting your privacy with a VPN is absolutely essential when you're on the move. And that's where private internet access comes in. PIA creates an encrypted tunnel to safeguard all of your online activity whenever and wherever you connect while traveling. So no more worrying about your passwords, bank accounts, emails, or personal info being intercepted over an unsecured connection in a foreign country. PIA secures all your browsing and blocks anyone from tracking your location or logging what sites you visit. If you're looking at traveling soon, then Private Internet Access is offering three months free on their subscriptions and 82% off if you use one of the links in the description. So now you've got your VPN, let's get back to the video. At number five, we have the cable car. For the best views of Dubrovnik, hop on the cable car to the summit of Mount Sierd. By day, the city's towers, walls, and the Adriatic Sea create a picturesque scene. And as the sun sets, the city lights up, offering a romantic night view. At number six, we have the Sponza Palace. This early 1500s palace has been a hub for merchants and traders for centuries. Today, it houses the city archives preserving over 100,000 documents, some dating back to the 10th century. At number seven, we have the Lovrijanak Fort. Perched 40 meters above the sea, this fortress has a rich history of defending Dubrovnik from invaders. If you visit during the summer, you might catch a performance of Hamlet in this majestic setting. At number eight, we have the St. John Fortress. This fortress, part of the city walls, protected Dubrovnik's port from pirate raids for centuries. Inside, you can explore a small aquarium and a maritime museum. At number nine, we have the Franciscan Monastery. This 14th century complex boasts a mix of Romanesque and Gothic architecture. The highlight is the pharmacy, one of the world's oldest, and a library with over 20,000 books. At number 10, we have the clock tower. Standing tall at 31 meters, this 1444 built tower features two bronze figures, Baro and Maro, known as the Green Men, who chime the bell at noon every day. At number 11, we have the Church of St. Blaise. This Baroque church is dedicated to St. Blaise, who is believed to have warned Dubrovnik of a Venetian invasion in a priest's dream. At number 12, we have Orlando's Column. This stone column from the 1400s, located in front of the Church of St. Blaise, celebrates Orlando, a medieval knight who defended Dubrovnik during a Saracen siege. At number 13, we have the Tristino Arboretum. This hillside park from the 1400s is home to tree species from around the world, including two unique oriental plane trees. The park also served as a filming location for Game of Thrones. At number 14, we have the beaches. While most of Dubrovnik's beaches are pebbly, they are renowned for their clear aquamarine waters. Lapad Beach, with its pedestrian zone filled with bars and restaurants, is a popular spot. At number 15, we have sailing and sea kayaking. Explore the islands off Dubrovnik's coast or kayak around the city walls for a unique perspective of the city's architecture. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Dubrovnik. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.